Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. This painting is a little bit different for me as it's slightly more surreal than what I'm used to painting. I'm used to painting um, like landscapes or flowers but never really combining them together into one and putting like a, a meaning behind it. So this is this is a first for me and I quite enjoyed it. It was a challenge um, I think my favourite part was painting the sky. The initial inspiration behind this piece came about when I was thinking about why I paint and, and like how I paint what I want to see in the world and how I'd like to feel. Um, it's a form of escapism where, where I would like to be and how I would like to feel. So I was thinking about how this is what my landscapes and florals mean to me anyway, but how about I combine that and create a world full of beauty where I can just escape to and be surrounded and submerged by everything that I love. Another interpretation of the use of flowers could be that I wanted to use the flowers to symbolise the delicate nature of the earth. So with climate change and everything going on in the world at the moment, it's it's important that we remember that it's delicate and that we're all one thing. We're made up of parts of the earth and the earth is made up of parts of us. We're just one being floating in the universe. Like, we are nature. And I find it comforting to remember this and, and the idea that the environment is constant. The natural world is something that's been with us for millions of years. It's stood the test of time, it, but it, yet it's delicate, so we have to take care of it. As a sufferer of OCD, which I describe to people as anxiety because they, un they seem to understand it more that way, I find strength in this idea. This painting was really challenging because I I'm used to working just off one reference image, but with this piece I had to combine my imagination with multiple reference images of flowers and then apply what I knew about um, how lighting works and how light and shadows would appear on these flowers that I was imagining. Because the light in the photos was completely different. I had to really use my um, imagination and artistic license with this piece. While watching this you can really see that I have a bit of a battle with painting the main rose that's in the foreground because I figured out that the bottom petals would have highlights but this wouldn't be as yellow or golden as the ones at the top would be from the light of the sunset. So I thought maybe I can make those petals down there slightly purpley because that's how I would imagine a rose to look in the sunset. So I painted the top petals slightly more luminous and golden um, from the light of the sunset. Eventually I decide to go back on that a little bit and make it so it looks like the light is reflecting on parts of the bottom petals because it seemed to look quite flat when I did it the other way and then I added some flowers to the right hand side and the lady that's standing on top of the rose with her arms outstretched soaking up all that is positive and beautiful and wonderful in the world. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked this piece. I think I will carry on with this surreal theme and create more like this. Um, if you'd like to see that, stay tuned, subscribe, like and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!